want to help you get out the door with meteorologist Alan Rose. Bree, don't worry, I've got your back. <laughs> Leave the uh, tech savviness to me and Patrick. We'll, we'll get you covered, I think. All right, Great. so weather-wise today, red flag warnings, the big story. That's why we're under weather alert. It's not widespread across the entire News 5 coverage area, but southern stretches of I-25, including the area where the St. Charles, St. Charles fire is still burning under this high fire danger threat from 11 a.m. until 7 o'clock this evening. Take a look at this current out the door temperatures in the upper 30s in Pueblo. We have 42 on the map in Westcliff, 32 that's below freezing in Sawatch, 27 for Alamosa, 44 in the Springs, 48 for our friends in Monument. Now today we'll be on the warm side of this storm, the storm that's currently north of us, bringing a lot of snow to parts of the northern Rockies and northern plains. This cold front drops in later tonight, but it doesn't have much moisture associated with it by the time it reaches us in southern Colorado. Now, parts of the state today will see the snowflakes fly. That's mainly the northern and central mountain ranges. I think amounts here could pile up as high as two to five inches. That's good news as we like to see the bases at the ski resorts begin to build and they'll get a better opportunity for base building snow through the upcoming weekend. Now for the plains today, we'll be on the warm and windy and dry side of the storm system, at least today. And once that cold front passes through later tonight, you'll notice some big changes as you make our way into Friday. So let's show you this 36 hour forecast. This is going to tell the story beautifully, right? 73 the high today. Watch how we climb all the way down to around 31 tomorrow morning. So we're below freezing behind that front Friday morning and then only warming into the 40s Friday afternoon. For Pueblo, it's shorts and t-shirts on the menu today after a chilly start by tomorrow morning down near the freezing mark and then sweater weather Friday afternoon with a high of just 51 degrees. Now that's the first of two cold fronts that we're watching. The second one moves in as you make our way towards the weekend. That's going to spread some heavier snow into the mountain areas Friday night into Saturday morning. Denver metro area, if you're heading up here for some Halloween weekend festivities, watch out. It could be cold and snowy Friday night. This, I should say Saturday night to Sunday morning, and then that snow starts to move south. Now, I don't think it's going to be widespread throughout southern Colorado. Eastern and southeast plains might not see much, but it looks like we could get maybe a light dusting to a few inches for parts of Fremont, Teller, and El Paso counties. All right, highs today will still be warm until that cold front arrives, so enjoy these warmer than average temperatures because we say goodbye to them in a hurry late this week and into the weekend. Look at Saturday. We'll be at 45 during the day. I think we'll be dry early on, and then that rain snow mix develops Saturday night before changing to snow as we head towards Sunday morning. For Pueblo, we go from 78 today with that red flag warning to a high of 49 Saturday and 34 with some snow showers on Sunday. For Canyon City, highs in the 70s today down to the 30s by Sunday with a low that night down to 19 degrees. So this is the coldest air of the season widespread throughout the region. Woodland Park, you'll be at 44 Saturday afternoon, low that night of 11, 25 on Sunday and a low that follows that night down to the single digits. So old man winter seems to be knocking on the doorstep. We'll have another look at that forecast coming up in a few minutes.